Hey guys, it's your girl Freedom Vane, and today I wanted to come to you with a quick review on the NYC Intense Lip Color Jumbo Pencil. It's like every brand now has their own uh, set of jumbo pencils, and I only have um, a set from Revlon. I have the Revlon Matte Bombs, the Matte Bombs, and the few of the Lacquer Bombs, and I have these. I haven't picked up any of the um, CoverGirl ones. I know Rumble just came out with a new line of Jumbo Bomb pencils and it's a whole bunch. Everybody pretty much has one. But today I'm going to be reviewing the ones from NYC for you. I have five shades here. I have um, 040 South Fairy Berry, 041 Ballroom Blush, 022 Fulton Street Fuchsia, and 031 Gramercy Park Plum, and 042 Roosevelt Island Red. So I did not pick up any of the neutral shade colors for the simple fact that I'm not a neutral lip wearer most of the time. Um, I don't really buy neutral lipsticks. I have maybe one or two that I use from other brands and that's good enough for me because it's not my thing. I picked up the pink shades, the red shades, and this plum um, somewhat very um, purple kind of color. So what I'm going to do is swatch these and you know just give you a little bit of my feelings on each of the colors. So I have um, an elf lip gloss on that I'm just going to take off. So The first one that I'm going to try on is Fulton Street Fuchsia. And first of all, I'm apologizing for doing lip swatches with a bright eye. Normally, I believe, I'm a personal believer in lip swatching with a neutral eye, but I'm about to be out the door, and I really just wanted to get this video up. Otherwise, I would have swatched with a neutral eye so it doesn't distract from the color. Okay. So... Fulton Street Fuchsia, it's, um, it's got a nice color, it's not completely opaque, it's not completely opaque, um, it's kind of a light way to wear a bright pink lip. Like if you want to wear a color, something like this, but you're afraid of wearing something that's super opaque, something that's super matte, super intense, and you just want to, you know, dip your toes in the water with a pink like this, I think this will be great for most people that are just getting into bright colors in their makeup, and it's great for the summer. It's quite easy to wear. It's really soft. Um, yeah, it's a really nice soft pink lip. It's got a gloss, and they do have a fragrance. It's kind of like a a chemical fruit fragrance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like it. I don't like the smell. So, so far that's the, the first con about it. They do feel a bit wet. So they are, you know, I guess that's good for summertime because you, you do want the hydration. So you get that with this. And once again, this is Fulton Street Fuchsia. So the next pinky kind of color is a ballroom blush and this is it next to Fulton Street Fuchsia. This one has a little bit more of a muted pink to it with maybe some red undertones. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Oh, let me swatch this on the back of my hand for you as well. So that's it swatched on my hand. The Fulton Street Fuchsia, and this one is Ballroom Blush. It's kind of more of a magenta. And right away, I can tell you, this one has better opacity. The Ballroom Blush has better opacity than the Fulton Street Fuchsia. Yeah, and it's not as wet. It's not as wet as the Fulton Street Fuchsia. It's, I like this one better. So.
And I have worn one of the red ones that I'm about to swatch for you out a lot. And I must say that it does set. Like they do go on the lips a bit moist. But when they set, they set really nicely. And uh, they don't really smudge. And this one is more of the true red. This one is South Fairy Berry. I don't understand why it's called a berry. Because it's a brighter, more resilient red than the other one. But I really like this one. As you can see from the tip, I've worn this one quite a bit. I like it a lot. And we all know that I'm a red girl. So this is South Berry Berry. I love this one. I think this one is my favorite. South Berry Berry. I like it a lot. And once again, that's the swatch right there. <laughs> this is my favorite. And if I wasn't wearing such a bold eye today, I would probably wear this look today. Um... They're not staining right now, but like I said, after a while, they do set. You do get, need to give them a chance to set. There's a little bit of stain, but not really. Okay, so the next one I have here is Roosevelt's Island Red. And compared to the South Ferry Berry, the Roosevelt Island Red has more... It's more of a deep red. It's more... Um, brown toned than the South Ferry Berry. So this is what I'm about to try on for you. So yeah, this is the Roosevelt Island Red, and it is a brown tone red or a deeper red, and it does um, go on a bit more sheer than the South Ferry Berry, and I like the South Ferry Berry better. This is something I'll probably wear during the winter. I don't know, I mean, I guess you can wear it anytime because it's kind of sheer, but it's not really my favorite tone of red. But I will still wear it because I do like them. And they all have that smell, FYI. That chemical fruit smell. I didn't swatch it for you. So I'll go ahead and swatch it really quickly. But yeah, it's, it's really sheer in comparison. And then the last color I have here is Gramercy Park Plum, which... As you can see, it's like a burgundy plum on the color. If you've been wanting a berry toned lippy, similar to the um, Sugar Plum Perry from Wet n Wild or the Mac Rebel, this is in that color family. But it's not as opaque and it's not as heavy as Rebel or as Sugar Plum Fairy. So you do get that nice berry, that nice rich plum color. You know, but it's not at all completely opaque. That's the swatch right there. But it is nice, it's easy. It's easy. I like it. So yeah, the only one that is kind of like on the fence for me would be the Roosevelt Island Red. It's not really my favorite, but the other four I really like a lot. Um, with South Ferry Berry being my number one favorite. And then we're going to go into the Ballroom Blush and then the Gramercy Park Plum. These are my top three. And then these two are okay. I just like them. 
um, the Roosevelt Island Red and the Fuchsia, sorry, the Fulton Street Fuchsia. Um, once again, I didn't pick up any neutrals. I'm not really a neutral or nude lip kind of person. Um, the con on these is that they have that scent that I really just don't like. I'm really not a fan of it. Um, and then again, the caps, even though, you know, the caps aren't horrible, I feel like they could have been a bit better. They're these plastic caps that always have the potential to break on you, you know, with any given rough handling. So I'm not a fan of the caps. Um, but other than that, they go on really easy. They feel great on the lips because they're all really moisturizing. They're all really moisturizing. Um, for the most part, they have a great color to them. I picked these up over the Wet n Wild Balm stands because I watched a few reviews and everyone that did a comparison, because they came out around the same time, everyone that did a, comp a comparison went with these over the Wet n Wild. And so I didn't want to pick up both sets because the colors in both of them the NYC Jumbo Lip Balms and the Wet n Wild Jumbo Lip Balms are pretty much the same and I didn't feel the need to have both of them. Um, but yeah, these are the five that I have. These are the five that I'm happy with. I'm pretty sure there's like maybe two or three other shades or whatever because this, this did come with a pretty nice variety of colors. But these are the ones that I went with. So I think they retail for about... $2.99 or $1.99 and then there's always 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 a sale on NYC um, on that cosmetic brand the New York color cosmetic brand they're always there's always a sale in Rite Aid or CVS um, I don't really shop in Walgreens too much every now and then I do but I mostly go to Rite Aid and CVS and there's always a sale you need to the NYC always has like a 30% sale off or buy one get one half off or buy one get one free so yeah, you can grab these at a discount. And then there's always coupons that you can find online. So you're virtually going to be spending little to nothing for these lip products. And in comparison, the Revlon ones are like $9. So $3 plus coupons plus usually the 30% sale or the buy one get one half off sale. A great steal. Um, I like them. I give them a B grade. They're pretty good. Pretty good for a drugstore. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye.